Then. Like if it's two, if your next Navi's two units when he shadow waves, it's two pick. instances, wouldn't so it? So then it will break living armor quite quickly if he's yeah. surrounded by. But you block a ton of damage. There's no killing power there, but we can zone him out a little bit. Let's get these two level six. That's all you need. Go epicenter to the the biggest ultis in the game. <laughs> the sanking level six, not exactly the. Oh, in Short the river. Style. Oh, he's got back up here. Goblack actually could be in trouble. He's got the boots to try and escape, but Sonico himself has boot. One or two more right clicks. Ooh. Says, First blood. That's. Speaking of help, seems like Dendi is really having a tough time in the mid lane. I mean, CS wise, he's actually leading, but he's already drank two salves. Mid lane, though, looks like Sineko is going to get the Burrow Strike off. Yes, he waits up, and the Sun Strike is going to come through. It's going to give them the kill. Never mind, Dendi is absolutely fine in this lane after that gank. Even getting experience out of this lane. That's got to be probably the one lane Navi is going to be like, is, is it really worth what's going on in the other lanes for where Spectre is right now? Yeah, you can make the argument that. Uh, Spectre is one of those quote comeback hero. Art found a lot of trouble, no grave. Gonna go down here, Ramses. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Living armor now online. So all those cheeky early kills that we saw is gonna be a lot harder to come by. But yeah, back to the Spectre point. You can make the argument that, you know, once he gets level six, oh Wow. I'm not sure what he caught that, but uh Dendi just threw a random sun strike and a hit. So this Sand King as we approach at the end of laning stage. You know, he's not going to get that, what, 12 minute blink or something like that. They're going to make another go on Always Wanna Fly. Living Armor, will that be enough? He's losing a lot of HP. The Brain Snap, not going to get flied off because it's perfect chain stun. Well done here by Navi in the sense that you have cores that could use of the, the farm. For example, Dendi uh, is getting a lot. Although, I say that Iceberg's making the dive. In fact, Cold Snap gets turned around as Tower is focusing on Iceberg. The Living Armor gets drained instantaneously. Here comes Art Style. No mana for Fissure. In fact, no cooldown for Fissure. Sunstrike's going to get the kill. No Nightmare blocks and the Fissure Fissure will come through. Always want to fly in a lot of trouble. He does get the Brain Stab off. Dendi does not care. Getting the right clicks. Haste Rune is available. And he is going to try to get the last hit. He will. Nice he's done for Navi. That was really nice by the Earthshake who actually held his Fissure there. Like he, he, I think he was animation cancelling regardless maybe, but as the Sunstrike was going to secure the kill. Mm -hmm. Nico, corner chronosphere, Fissure, is this going to keep him alive? Afterlife gets himself a, a kill, but nicely played by Axmo to make sure they got both those kills ultimately with that two hero Fissure. Oh, he's actually oh, jumping forward. aggressive time walk here. He's going to be careful, Dendi, trying to look to burst tower. him down with the cold snap. He's got seven seconds before it comes back up. Fissure available. One more right click. I'm Boom. Oh, oh Axmo, he's 3 0 3. This blink dagger timing is going to be. Again, not a hero that's being played too often, but. In terms of the laning stage, would have worked much better. And we were looking for a tower dagger here with Treant. Sneeko, he's smoked up. He's headed towards the top lane where they've already thrown the fissure here. Gyrocopter's kind of blocked on in, and they just need to be looking for a TP escape. But can't really do so up here. So Nico is smoking a pop. There's the living arm of the cooldown as well. So Nico burrows through Sandstorm to follow. Starts break there as well. It's gonna just miss. miss I'm not sure. And the poison. Tell those damage coming from the fissure. One more right click. I believe they've got this gyro come to kill out. Now we'll secure it. Gets up the shadow wave. Echo Sam will keep, will keep him alive as well as bring down the tree and protect us. Suddenly, Earl. Got him. Got him. And it's the they leave us the earth shaker. Okay, the shaker is this game. He's gonna go ham. Oh, Nightmare's gonna come out. The dream, the dream exorcism, though. And they bring down Axmo. That's oh, the yeah. important they kill can. to get. They can. Yeah. So keeping this poor shaker alive. And that's two heroes. Sonika will escape. It's a great offensive team fight. They just don't have the anything good defensively against the huge damage of Navi's, as well as the control and stuns that Navi have. And that blink, you miss it. That was. Like, yeah. The, <laughs> In also, it got him the earned charges, so getting those first few earned charges always helps a lot as a Spectre. Dying oh, they know always going to fly TP'd up here, attack. they'll scout him out. Really nice catch coming out from Na'Vi. And I, wonder, a free kill on Bane. I wonder if the Han actually caught that TP, and they're like, oh, he's up here. I think they, they must have gotten vision of him. Uh, well, you already come into the exorcism, right? So you kind of just do or die situation? It, kind of, but I think Navi's team fight is. Oh, so Nico gets caught here on the side here by Always Wanna Fly. He does have the Blink Dagger, but no more mana to use. He's gonna focus on Sineko. He gets blown up immediately. This exorcism's wearing off, though. I think that's a big problem when he's got a Blink Echo Slam coming. Well, I think it's time to go back. Well, oh, the Fissure! Yeah. 
Wow, great play here from the side of uh, Axel as well as uh, Dendi. Now they're gonna trade down around this. Chira chases a little bit longer. That grave about to wear off. Those could be a little more Ooh. careful. They lose Gyro and the brain sap. Not enough. Always want to fly out style. Shut away. Not gonna come off. Overgrow coming through as well. But Blink and Chan Totem die with Hell and Goblox. Goblox is gonna be dead. Dendi fighting with the Force Spirit. Doing a ton of damage on. Always want to fly. Always want to blink forward. Doing a little bit of nice body block. And the bridge is gonna come through. Dendi picks up a double kill. It's up to have another sicker. Go up against this. I, I don't know. And it's still epicenter. That yeah, was not used last fight. We just scouts it out again. Dyer's middle Bit tower. Jumps, and Nico could go for the bar strike. Instead, he gets fiend script off on the side. Dendi blinks in. Chaos me is there with the deathly blast. Then the bar strike. Where comes. was the overgrowth? Go black. Suddenly, yeah. there's the overgrowth. Catches out three. Dijera comes in. Not Chrono. Chrono. It was already used elsewhere in the final. Looks like to take out the dazzle. As Axmo gonna be brought down here, the time dilation causing a lot of problems here. There's still okay. no fire strike. This time dilation wrecking Navi. Okay, time dilation is the spell. He actually maxed it out. He went so good. With that said though, like again, the only Senna, here we go. <laughs> it's going. Yeah. Out of there, Sneeko. Yeah. Alright, so I did hype up Sonico does have a very good stanking. It's just Okay. Yeah, here comes the girl strike. Yeah. This fight actually goes terribly for Iceberg. He's got the extra, but he may just die at the start of this fight. Teacher is chasing, he needs to be more damage. The Sunstrike not going to be needed, but Spectre pays for it with his life, but ultimately a fantastic fight. And Dali. For Navi. I think it better work, so Neko is. Uh... Got strike, though. He's got Time Walker. And they he does. Stun him. Time uh, Walker. Echo, Echo. Oh, no, not going to go for it. Besides, it might not have the damage, so Neko can also chase him down, so holds on to the Echo. and He's got Time Walker Dali soon. Oh no, he just jumps out. Still going. This is not the kill. Power strike? Yeah. Is it? Surely. Okay. They didn't just echo slam if they wanted to previously, but they made it hard for themselves. Once you pick up yeah. the earned drums, you have to begin afterwards. I mean, you could still go defuse all those. I like, that, what, KMMR Spectre Spammer who doesn't even go Radiance <laughs> half the time. All right, Dendi gets Chrono, but where's the follow-up? In fact, there is no follow-up. Dendi is uh, in a lot of trouble. I mean, he's time dilated. He's going to go down as well. They still have the overgrowth at the ready, so Neko out of macro and you know if the game gets late enough faces void is still a big threat so i, I feel for for spirit there's no reason to make these sort of aggressive play bottom lane here look they're they're burrowing on ramses meanwhile simultaneously looks like bane got picked off in the jungle like yeah at the late game stages agonim's treat is not saying to be underrated though like that in itself bottom lane the game. epicenter being thrown out here and the iceberg blow the hell up the odds gonna come in as well people give the chrono and just got chain stunned as well I'm surprised he time walked in. Then he, he's just keep for the snipe. Middle tower is under attack. Alacrity. Wake I think he missed it. woke him up with. Oh, he didn't wake him up with the Ford spirit. Dyer's middle tower. Have High ground. Yes. Where you're not going to actually get the racks, but you're going to force Navi to TP. Oh, I think they're TPing regardless. Holy crap, big Echo Slam coming in, and here comes the Echo Slam being used for up there as well as Overgrow being popped out right now. Iceberg doing a ton of damage, he needs to be focused, he's dropping low, yields himself back up to the high ground here, and here comes... Actually, what is happening in the fight? Did you actually break the Spectre as well? Now, here comes the Burrow Strike. I'll pull out and time walk Blink away, he'll he'll escape. The tree is not being first down, I did manage to get off the Overgrowth at the last second there. I think he was hit by the fissure, the aftershock sun, but not the actual fissure damage. And Navi will get a third kill, so make it a three for two, but still does not feel good. There's that tree, X. And time to play slow, I think. Boy, that's some aggressive play. They immediately spec the horn. They get the forest strike up on afterlife. Is he going to go for the horn here? Looks so like it. Oh, sorry, he's going to go for the chronosphere. On the back oh, line, the echo slam. There's the oh. media. That's the big. Combo coming out from Navi. They instantly take out Jared Pop before he can even BKB. It looks like it's going to be a buyback coming out. Then he's being gripped up. There's going to be an aggressive play art style. He's looking to get a heal bomb off. Can he bring down? Yes, he can. Dendi not even getting close to being brought down there. The cooldown from the TP buyback of Jared that does next to nothing. It's a shake for the loss on the side of Navi and Bite they'll go for it. And with offensive leap being used, they're likely to try and take this one. Dendi, his spell's coming back up. Oh, That's here comes a barrel strike. I don't know about that one. Casual time delay. Okay. Okay, and there. Go off. Uses the Yule so he doesn't get nightmare up or anything. I spoke on the chase here. They're gonna go Roshan for now. 
Chase is gone for Zico, may need a Barrow Strike away, gets further away from the homing missile, still getting chased down. Roshan goes down to the Gyrocopter, probably just creating space and gets a kill on Sank. They lost Spectre as well while that was going on. And our Styles got the gem here, can't die, really need to walk himself back out. Meanwhile, on the back line here, looks like Shaker has picked off the Bane. They're still chasing on here on our style. Finally, he grave. will go down. Three heroes by him though, and Shaker, I think, in the neighborhood, gonna keep him alive. Doesn't execute oh. the great one, Shaker. Four stuff. He's gonna finish okay. soon. He's dead. He's dead as well. Gem claimed by. Yeah, it's. I'm getting there. It's very difficult. To, uh, it's, if you're like, you know, four or five k just to drop two k and one. Meanwhile, Axmo continue to murder people. Uh, no damage. Okay, now you overgrow. <laughs> Go Black walks into it. Dendi PKP is getting overgrowth and okay. that'll lock the place. Dendi should be going down. Dash. He goes, goes, they've got dust. Go Black, he pops oh a bit too late, he flicks away. Go Black. Dyer's bottom tower has a little bit too late. He had one job. Uh, walks into Chrono. I guess if you... Oh, they, they do scout Gold Black with the gem on Snakeo. Double kill the Empty Center and everything. Go Black. Likely to go down here. Avalok could be in some trouble himself on the base of Void. He's throwing the Chronosphere. Go Black still alive for now. The beat Jarocopter trying to kind of cover the retreat here. Go Black just laughing at these heroes like, Hey, yeah, come on, guys. You're stuck. Sun Strike always going to fly. Walks into a Dendi with a nice snipe and pickoff. Could go for some follow up kills here. Go Black still very low on HP and they've got a gem somewhere. Fissure will secure that kill. Off to the back line. This could be Iceberg with a BKB. No exorcism and that's not a good time for Death Prophet trying to be fighting. You may have sold him. Salt Spirit Stifle in bed. No, oh, he's dead. No fight. Uh, this game is so clowny. <laughs> it's more more sloppy, I guess, than clowny, I'd say. But yeah, this has been pick off. Way too many just unnecessary pick off. And as I say, that we'll see another one. It looks like Ramsey. Sunstrike is there. This is going to be another Chronos for a oh. 10 point. Echo is perfect. Oh no, Gyro. No he's going to be dead again. Oh. They're lucky that uh, Time Dale was still going on to the time. But he's dead regardless. He's fighting him. The girl's a great to help to do that. Uh, Thank you. There. Cancel this. So they just got seven pickoffs in a row. Is that what happened? Yes. Team wipe, Bane twice, Aegis. That was just like one by seven kills in a row. <laughs> what should have been like, it could have just been a tree and protect. That, that's what most, like, that's where, I, when we say this has been sloppy, it's what could have just been a tree and getting caught out and solo killed became. Seven kills and a lost Rex. Completely unnecessary. Oh, the Rex is not down. You don't have yeah. You don't fight. Well, it's now. Okay. It's now eight kills in the Rex, perhaps. That's now. a good overgrow. Gold Black's gonna be dead, and Nickel's okay for now. And here comes Iceberg, right? He's got the ultimate. There we go. I don't know. <laughs> no, okay. There's a Yules being used. Is it gonna be enough? Diddy Rod doesn't care. He's like low range. Rate. The Axe means you stay out of range for the Exorcism, and then you get that long range fire strike off. It's like Fissure Range. Well, no, no exism, Melee Rex down, Navi, suddenly, they're still alive! What is happening this game? Oh, Chrono. I'm always like reluctant to call a game a bit cloudy and stuff, but this is definitely, this is the bill. <laughs> Whatever happened in the last two minutes of play. Journey across the map ganks, working your way and then... And then he's a really sick hero, but... There's the Axmo, he's going to throw an overgrowth here, as the rotations come from the side, so Nico gripped up, he's the gem carrier, he's the one who's trying to take out all these pesky trees. They're going to chrono everything, like gem's out. That's worth a chrono and all that, because taking a gem away from Na'Vi at this... So the initiation rate for both teams is just ridiculous. Alright, here we go, Axmo, invis up. They got the gem, right? Oh, that's not going to stop him killing off Iceberg. He gets defensively Nightmare, but they'll still get the easy kill. Go Black off to the side. But I think they've got Tristan for him, so instead they're going to chase down the Wizard Fly, and he's the gem carrier. And return. Go Black. Nobody sees me. Overgrowth down five seconds right now. Invis, now Dust going on to Dendi. He is in the trees, now up a ramp. You don't want to chase up there, I don't think. Now Dendi mixed a full force there. Go Black. Can we get an overgrowth? Oh no, the Chrono! Look at him, he's all falling to the ground! Meanwhile, his teammate down. Now, overgrowth will get channeled. Uh, this is officially a cloudy ass <laughs> game. I mean, Dazzle's gonna accept it. You know it's cloudy when that happens. <laughs> Alright. Uh, he should be okay to get at least one time walk off, but they okay. could just chase him down for a Ooh. long period of time. Fire strike up. I don't know when fire strike's up, but it's up at some point. Time dilation spell confuses me. It says 18 <laughs> seconds. It's not. It's up sooner than that, right, guys? Right? Right? Okay, it's seven. Now it's up now. Is that what the spell does? I don't understand like the number that shows like when you click it here. That's been time dilated for that cooldown. 
Dendi the wizard. The only people I always want to fly gonna die again. And yeah, that's gonna be wrecked. Hold that thought though. Here comes Iceberg. Bye back. Can't really wreck this game. They're getting it. Chrono's gonna come through. Here comes the exorcism. Pretty soon. Okay, dual scepter. It's not actually doing that much damage. Yeah, they, they actually backed off. Oh, oh that much damage. The only way. He did not get BKB off, and that's that's GG. Yep, that is actually GG. Suddenly, Navi, all it takes is an alliance loss to EG, and we'll see Navi in tiebreakers. Well, I guess, assuming they take this game. This game, they're still going to secure the racks. They are taking this game. <laughs> they should be. Yeah. Anything happens. Yeah, so. I know as it is, and boom! Dendi gets another! 14 3 19. Dyer's pretty good performance. Yeah, pretty good performance. I, I think Axmo's maybe, maybe been like the slight MVP. I mean, I don't even know how you call it MVP this game. It's been like some clowning, non stop fighting Dota. 48 kills for Navi. Spirit. It's the end of their style at a run. Whatever, still goes to Shanghai. So yeah, <laughs> I, I saw a spirit earlier, like, uh, like when they were one and three, and like they had to win this last game, and they, they were just they, like they didn't seem too demoralized. Like as a team, they were still grouped up, talking together, chatting over lunch, having a laugh, and I think that, that's a good point to make. Like this is a team who's like getting some preparation practice for major, and ultimately the major is that's the big probably not the the best mindset to be in. You know, going one and four in this group, but yeah. hey, ain't bad. Alliance are actually doing pretty well against EG though. Oh. So. Now we have to the upset. go cross their fingers and hope for an EG victory now. Not one just yet. There's a very 